Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Silent Core, and welcome yourselves back to my Red Dead news series. Now I want to make a video and talk about the new update we are expecting tomorrow into Red Dead Online and how it might not actually be what a lot of you guys are expecting. Ever since Rockstar has announced the summer update, I keep seeing everybody getting so hyped every single week and then getting super disappointed each Tuesday when the update doesn't drop and it's just some sort of filler and um, bonus week and um, such as we've had the last few weeks. So I wanted to make this video and let you guys know so you don't get too disappointed this week that it's actually very unlikely that we do get the update coming tomorrow. Now there's a few different reasons for this. First of all is the fact that we've only had one kind of info drop on what the summer update is actually going to be and even that was a very brief update. We've only really gotten a very brief top line info on the three different roles and some rough rewards that are going to be included in the three different roles and we still don't really have a lot of information on how they're actually going to work. And there's also a very important paragraph in the last news update that a lot of people have missed so I'm going to show this to you guys now. And this is how they finished off the last info drop on the summer update. Rockstar said there is much more to reveal about becoming a bounty hunter, trader and collector in the weeks ahead. Now as you can see here, Rockstar are already planning their next info drop about the three different roles and this summer update and it wouldn't make sense for them to do this after it launches. So basically until we get this next info drop on the summer update, we shouldn't expect this update to just stealth drop out of nowhere. Now how I believe this is going to work is going to be quite similar to the last update into Grand Theft Auto Online which was the Casino DLC. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at how they released this DLC and how they announced it and I believe it's going to be quite similar to what they do with this summer update. So as you can see the Diamond Casino and Resort grand opening was July 23rd. This is when the update was actually released. However Rockstar did this info drop giving us the release date of the Casino DLC and giving us all of this new information about the Casino DLC and even uploaded a new trailer for it. And this was all done six days before the release date, so it was all officially announced on the prior Thursday. So I think with all this in mind, we can expect a similar Newswire post for the summer update. And when we do get that info drop, it's going to contain the release date and it's going to contain a lot more information and basically how the roles will actually work with their gameplay. And as I mentioned in my video yesterday, I think it's very likely will also get another Twitch Prime bonus so anybody with Amazon or Twitch Prime with their account linked to their Rockstar account they will be getting a major reward in this summer update. If we look at the Casino DLC all of the Twitch Prime members got a free master penthouse in the Diamond Casino and Resort. They got 1.25 million cash in game and a also a 15% extra bonus on any purchases of shark cards and that's an absolutely huge bonus Prime members got. So I do think this update is going to include a very OP reward for all of the Prime members in Red Dead Online. So yeah, I just wanted to make this video and set you guys' expectations. I don't want to see everybody getting their hopes up for a Tuesday update every single week and then not getting it. Because until we get this next info drop, we shouldn't be expecting this update to just appear out of nowhere. As always, I will have a video up tomorrow covering all of the new content that Rockstar does release. I'm kind of expecting maybe a one or two week bonus week and giving us an opportunity to make some last minute cash for this update. If we look at the calendar, we've only really got a few more opportunities for this update to still be officially released in summer. If you guys didn't know already, summer officially ends on the 23rd of September. So basically we've got next week the 10th, the week after that the 17th, and potentially even the 24th, which is the week after that, so one day after summer ends, could be another possibility for this update dropping. But I do believe it's very likely we will be getting it this month. If you guys missed the video I made over the weekend, I'll have it linked on screen. I went over 10 things that you guys should do to prepare for this update. So this is things like stockpiling certain animals and also stockpiling amount of cash. I show you guys how much cash and gold bars I think you guys should be accumulating for this update. So I'll have that linked on screen and in the description in case you missed it. Thank you all for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.